Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy We Have X's video and we're today we're gonna be talking about Renoa and Angelo and Squall and of course Knights of Grand Shell. So Squall his upgrade of his of his previous uh, or his S Tumor is quite strong, 750 attack. Very good. It allows him to get into the 7k AK range, depending on what equipment you have. 400 percent TDH, you don't gotta worry about that. 600% cap EX2 Multiple killers 200% low first damage like he has so many things that you would normally need to equip and he has so much stuff already 400 times mod bus for some abilities. We don't care particularly about that too much. I mean, it's a little it's decent His SLB 87% defense and spirit break now that's not as good as you know the JP side that was decent But at the global side not so good, but 130% fire and dark and peril also 150% beast and human killer and it's the same modifier as Tidus, Neogen Awakeness, uh, SLB. So just very powerful, very powerful. And not, not as a main finisher though, of course not. Uh, but as, as, a, as a secondary finisher in Dark Visions or anything like that, he's definitely going to be the best. Some cons, I... <laughs> Does SLB last for one turn? I guess that's it, that's it, that's all I can think of. So I'm gonna give him a nine, 9 out of 10. Very, I'd say one of the best New Asian Awakenings ever of all time. <laughs> just because of how useful he is, the imperils are decent. Um, just really good. So nine, 9 out of 10, very powerful. Make sure to get his uh, upgraded weapon to get more attack. And that's it. So let's go to the next one. Reno and Angelo. So I don't know if her STMR stacks, but I'm assuming it does not. It is decent though, but I assume it doesn't, I her, her flat stats doesn't stack. Anyways, the Ebalo summon 30% Dark Imperil. I'm sure, sure that's going to be used in some way, somehow, some way for higher end clears for if you need Dark. Because I remember using it for that too. 600% cap for TDH or Trudu wield. It's not locked. 150% low burst damage passive, 100% magic Trudu wield. 100% Avian and Beast, 100% Beast and Dragon Killer, also 150% Human Killer. <laughs> and the base form, you won't really be using it that much, but I did use it every now and then. Quad and Triple Cast, she has Quake. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got buffed. And Tornado Chaining, plus, t plus 3. She also has some Wind Chaos Wave Awakened Chaining. I don't think Chaos Wave Awakened really is that relevant anymore, but whatever. And her, her LB in the base form can be imbued. It's 27 hit tag chaining. So I've used this on several occasions because of how useful that is. Uh, how flexible that is. In the Brave Shift form, this is what everybody wants to know, right? She does have quad cast, very important. She has 200% normal elemental chaining speed, whatever. That doesn't matter too much. Thunder flat magic, just in a normal passive. She has some mod boost for Quake and Tornado and Apocalypse plus two. The LB is ne definitely necessary to have um, the 400% magic buff and also a 350 times mod buff for her Apocalypse plus two, which is the only thing that actually matters. And also a 300% magic store buff when we already know how that good is, how that is good. So very powerful, uh, definitely necessary to use her Brave Shift LB on turn two. Turn one, you would summon Diabolos. Turn two, some no, use the summon or you could you could i mean you know you wouldn't want to do it the other way around because you'd probably lose the store buff it only it only lasts for one cast you probably would lose it eventually on something you didn't mean to do it on so on turn three is where you would it burst and you don't really have time to use any of our other abilities when you're doing apocalypse because you only have here's the con four turns in a brave shift form and you need chains long enough to up the cap apocalypse and you're casting four of them that's how she's doing a lot of damage and the biggest con i feel like although it's maybe not a big deal but it's annoying if you need the killers on something else or something like that she needs diabolus equipped for the dark field she does not have the summon every esper ability so that's unfortunate uh i don't know if her stacks so I can't really count that as anything in terms of her score, but it is a decent STMR, but it probably will be 
most likely not used because uh, TTH might be better on her instead. So I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10 as well. Basically, like if you didn't pull Dark Rain, this is a unit that you could pull because she's not premium. But I think that Dark Rain is stronger on Global now than, than Rhinoa because just because of the STMR buff that he got. I think that he's just stronger now. So we'll have to see. Sorry about the sniffling is early in the morning. Anyways, I, I feel like she, she is very powerful. I feel like she if you didn't pull for Dark Rain, this is the chance for you could you could do Angela. I mean you could Renoa and Angelo. You could you could do a dark capper that way. So yeah, very powerful Renoa. I think a lot of people are waiting for her as well. So very good unit, of course. And here's the big daddy. Here's what everybody's been waiting for. Knights of Grand Shell. <laughs> The rest teamer did not get buffed to get any more flat attack, which is a little disappointing because Dark Rain got a buff of that. So there's only one buff that they got that I noticed and that they mentioned. So we'll be talking about the very end. 100% chain cap. This is for both sides. 200% all killers. That's the big contention. That's not restricted to any EX level. That's just 200% all killers. And I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons why they uh, nerfed him so badly uh, in terms of trial usage because he was so easy to gear. 200% uh, TDH, 150% little burst damage. Oh, he has an, yeah, he ha I forgot about this. He has an extra 75% beast and demon killer. Um, so that's very good. And if you have a Zest Tumor, that's 300% beast killer. And uh, yeah, so that's quite good. Uh, it's 300% de demon killer right away. And he has a 50% light amp. 12 LB crystal f fill, so you don't have to worry about that either. The base form is pretty whatever. The LB is not that strong and it's very whatever to me. So I'm not even gonna bother mentioning it. It's just, you probably would never use it unless you're just, I did, I only used it one time where I was, it was there was like a wave, um, wave battle or something. And, and since he only has, he has limited turns, I used his base form to finish, I guess. That's the only time I would ever use it. Brave shift form. 145 times 144 times bolting strike chaining you would never use this because his LB is much stronger 160 160 times aim away chaining and the six LB fill you never you would never need this you would use you'd use a support to fill his LB and his LB here it is so here's what everybody wants to know 30% great sword in peril 130% light in peril um, we're kind of used to 135 at this point but here we go light it's still light not, not no, if it was non elemental, that'd be crazy. But light physical damage stacking, it would go. It went from 150 times to 200 times, one time to each, from 370 to, four, to 420. So 50 times mod increase, and he's also he also he's also got some uh, weed on him. So I guess he's going uh, crazy with that. So anyways, yeah, 420 times max. That's a 50 times increase. Most people were expecting 30 times. So. What you normally would do in this base form is you equip Tyva's Spirit and you use it and you shift and you would use as LB um, to at least get a stronger modifier on that on that first hit most likely yeah so anyways he has katana passives they're worthless because his STMR is a great sword so last will get shafted again in the fusion he still gets shafted you need to you probably need to entrust her to, to continue because remember, he only has four turns, so you got you got to entrust him eventually to get, to keep L being. And of course, what everybody's been talking about for the months, uh, months and months on the JP side at least, every trial except the most recent one is all 500% light resist. So this guy's gonna be very powerful in Dark Visions, Vision World, maybe Clash of Wills, but in terms of trial usage, they literally don't let him be used at all. And then by now on the JP side, uh, there's so many stronger units that even if you can bring them to the newest trial on the JP side, there's no reason to because Tidus is much stronger. Um, so they never really gave him a chance to shine in terms of uh, trials at all. They were just too afraid, I guess. Too strong. And then they eventually they make stronger units anyway, so I don't know. They're not that none of those units were restricted. Like uh, we don't see 500% water resist on anything. So 
So anyways, his vision card, of course, is the best thing about this unit, other than his damage. Vision card is incredibly powerful, 80% attack, 100% low burst damage, 500 flat attack on any attacker, not FAB. None of that is FAB restricted. It's only for attacker role, at least the, the, the bottom two. So very powerful. You, like I mentioned, you can expect mo more than one cl uh, clear team, a whale clear team that have at least one or two of these, maybe even more. I, wow. I can't even imagine getting more than one of this though. Seriously, that's just wow. It makes my wallet cringe at just thinking of getting more than one of this, but people, I'm pretty sure people are going to do it. There are bigger whales out there than I am uh, that would get more than one of this. So with that being said, I'm going to give him, because of the vision card being so good, I'm going to give him 9.5 9 out of 10. I might regret that later, <laughs> but he did get a buff. He's much stronger now. 420 times is very powerful. Um, much stronger than Esther, but she, she's like fle flexible with elements compared to him. He's light locked and you can't fix that. You can imbue him with something else, but he still has a, that light element tied to it. So his vision card raises him up much higher than, than he would if, if his vision card was not so good. If it was Esther tier vision card, you'd probably not be getting a 9.5, but he is here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know if you're going for Knights of Grand Shell or you're going for Renoa. Or maybe both if you're a whale. Maybe you are. Or you just have a lot of resources saved up. Good luck guys if you are pulling. And I hope to see you in the next video. If you like the video, please give a like. Please subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, make sure to click that join button. Or the thanks button. I think it's called thanks. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. See you in the next video. Peace.